What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of NX Tutorials. In today's episode, I'll show you how to create the castle. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing is go ahead and create a new file. You want to come up here, click new. You want to specify your units. Today we'll be using millimeters, so we'll leave that in millimeters. You want to name your file. I'm going to go ahead and name it castle. Choose your folder destination and go ahead and click OK. Alright, then go ahead and create a sketch. You want to come up here, click sketch. Choose your plane. I'm going to leave it at the default XY plane. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, so under profile, I'm going to go ahead and create my profile. Alright, once you have your profile, we're going to go ahead and give it some dimensions. Alright, so go to rapid dimension, click on this line. We want this line to be 165, so type in 165. And this one is going to be at 50. The top one is going to be the same, 50. Alright, this dimension, we want it to be at 15. This dimension, 30. Alright, next I want to select this line. And then I want to dimension it to this point. Go ahead and type in 40. And then I want this point to this line, I want that to be 25. Alright, now on the bottom, go ahead and select the bottom line, and I want it to this point, and that's going to be 32. Alright, once we have that, go ahead and close out. Alright, so I'm going to create a profile up here for the cutout. So go ahead and select the profile. We want a straight line coming down, going out, up. Alright, once you have that, you want to give it some dimensions. Alright, so this dimension is going to stay at 10. Same here, 10. We'll change this dimension to 19. And then this dimension, 11. Alright. Once we have that, we're going to go ahead and trim these two lines. So come up here, in the trim tool, you want to click on it. So highlight it, make sure it's in red. You want to trim this line and this line. Alright, so now our sketch is fully constrained with four auto dimensions. Go ahead and click finish. Alright, so the next step is we're going to go ahead and use a revolve. So you want to come up here and click on the revolve feature. You should have 12 curves selected. Next, you want to come down here, specify your vector. You want to select this line that's going to revolve around it. So go ahead and click OK. Alright, so, so far this is what we have. Alright, next I want to make another cutout here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and create another sketch. So come up here, click sketch. Select your plane. I want to this plane, XY. So click OK. 
All right, so I'm going to create a profile. I want to select this point. I want to bring my line down to this point. Alright, once you have that, we're going to actually go ahead and dimension it, so double click on this line, that's going to be 10, and everything else should be the same, so we got this dimension coming down 11, we typed in this 10, and that's 20, once you have that, your sketch should be fully constrained with two auto dimensions, go ahead and finish. Your next step is go ahead and extrude, and then we're actually going to go ahead and extrude this sketch. You want to extend it, so that way it's going all the way through the body. Go ahead and click OK. Then you want to subtract, click on the subtract, select your main body, and then select your second body. Go ahead and click OK. All right. Alright, so next I'm going to sketch out a circle here, so come up here in the sketch, select your plane, click OK, go ahead and click on the circle, you want to select this point, and then we want our circle to be 80 millimeters, so type in 80, press enter, once we have that, go ahead and finish. Alright, next you want to extrude the circle, so click on the extrude. The start is going to be negative 19. And then come down here on the offset. We want it two-sided, so click on the two-side. And this one is going to be negative 10, so it's going inwards at 10 millimeters thick. So once you have that, go ahead and click OK. Next, we want to subtract. So come up here, click on the subtract, select your body, and then you want to select this extrude, click OK. All right. Next, I want to create a cutout, come and add an angle. So I'm actually going to go ahead and create another sketch. So I'll come up here, click the sketch. We want this plane. Click OK. Alright, you want to come up here, click on the line. Our first line we want is straight over here. And then we're going to go ahead and create a straight line up here. We're going to go ahead and create a line at a 30 degree angle and another line at 330 angle. And then on this side, we want a 180 plus 30. And then go ahead and create another line, 180 minus 30. Alright, so these lines we're going to go ahead and attach them to this. So go ahead and highlight it, select it, and then move it. Go ahead and place your first line, and then move around your second line. And you want it perpendicular so that way it's 30 degrees away from the center line. And then same thing on this side. You want to select it. You want to make sure it's perpendicular going out. And you want to make sure the endpoints of your line is within this thickness. Same thing on the bottom. Alright, once we have those, go ahead and finish. 
the next step is we're going to go ahead and extrude these lines so click on extrude the start point it's at negative 11 and then we want to offset it symmetrically at 5 millimeters alright so it's going to look like that click OK once we have those we're going to actually subtract them from the body so click come up here click on the subtract alright so we got all the bodies click OK that's going to take care of that alright so the next thing is I'm going to hide all the sketch lines that we've created so you want to come up here under the view tab go to move to layer select your body and then invert selection and that should give you 33 objects all the sketch lines and everything else that we've created go ahead and click OK and then we want to assign these to a different layer we'll go ahead and type on layer 5 press enter and then under layer settings you should see the layer that we've created layer 5 you want to uncheck it and there they go go ahead and close out alright so now we have a clear view alright the next step is I want to change the color you want to control J press and hold control J select your object click OK under the color box go ahead and select your uh, preference click OK alright and there's our castle alright there it is alright guys thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe until next time